Hello everybody, this is uh, Deepak Sharma, your instructor for Sage 300. So the purpose of this video is to give you an introduction of your home practice exercise that I've been making. So this is the number five exercise that I made so far. So what I'm going to do with the home practice exercise number five, I'm going to divide these videos into different parts. So the first part I'm recording today is just the introduction to the exercise. So if you are one of the students who who knows uh, how to deal with how to how to record transactions in the general ledger, how to set up the general ledger, and the bank ledger, the sales tax, and accounts payable, you can simply listen to this video and download this exercise and complete it on your own, either using the software that you have installed on your computer, or if you are a Humble student and you have access to Humber application, you can use. The application to complete this exercise as well okay so this exercise is starting from a general ledger setup and it goes all the way to the accounts payable recording transactions so these are the main key focus of this exercise and and uh, there are two option, options to complete this exercise if you have a software installed on your computer you're going to be using option number two where you need to create a database and I'm naming the database as QMB DAT and QMB Sys. You need to complete it on the SQL server and you also need to complete it on the Sage 300 database. You need to complete that part and then you will go through the exercise to complete the rest of the stuff. Okay. If you need, still need uh, more guidelines to how to create the database, you can look at the exercise 1.1 and 1.2 to create that database on your computer. If you want to go with the option number one, that's only if you have access to Humber Online Streaming application. You can log into this and you can use any database that you have in that application because everything is blank and whatever you use, it, you have the file saved in that particular file or particular company file that you're going to use using that application. So in this exercise, in the second part, I'm going to be using option number one to record these transactions. Now, uh, company background, so what this exercise is, uh, you guys, uh, there are you and your friend, you started a new business, new venture, and it's Quick Meal Bar and Grill Limited. So you opened this corporation and you wanted to open the restaurant and serve in a patio as well as uh, some dining as well. So you do decided that you need two, you're gonna separate the cost between two different departments, a takeout department, which is Oh, I'm going to change the number. It's not 100 and 200. It's 001 and 002. I'll change that exercise, but you're going to use 001 and 002. And you decided that you're going to use Sage 300 uh, to record your accounting. So what are you need to do in this exercise is you will use one of the options to log in. So you use your own database. If you do, you need to create the database. If you're using Humber Platform, you're going to simply jump right here. Okay. But if you're using option number two, you need to complete what I mentioned to you guys here is these two databases in the SQL and in the Sage. And if you are using the option one, you simply log in to the application and select APT that that's what I'm going to use. Uh, you can use that one to start your company form. If you're using your own database, you will use the one that you created in the last step. And um, then when you come in, you administrate, uh, you activate the admin services, you select the fiscal date as 0101, you put the company information, you create a monthly reminder, send a three days prior, starting on 31st of 2020, you activate the general ledger module, and then you select all the GL options that you have. In that option, you want you guys to create two segments. Segment one will be the accounts and segment two will be the departments. And this is where you're gonna come in to your department. You're gonna create two different departments, 001 for takeout and 002 your dining. You're gonna create account structure, which is ACC for account, DEP for department. And I want you guys to create three different source codes as well. Okay, once you finish that, you are going to create the chart of account. You require you provide your trial balance and appendix A at the bottom. Based on this trial balance, you guys are required to create the general ledger accounts. So you're gonna scroll down to the bottom. You guys are given a trial balance with all the zero balance because you just started the business in December. 
there was no transaction happened so what you still need to record all these accounts so you need to create all these accounts they are mixed up asset liabilities revenue and expense account so what you need to do here in the step number where were we in step number 11 you create all the accounts and right here in step number two you need to create a rent account and separate it between takeout and dining 30 and 70 percent so this could be more like an auto allocation account and then once you finish you need to do the opening entry but there is no opening entry because the trial balance has a zero balance i still left the step there just for you guys to understand that when do you need to create an opening entry and when you do not need to create an opening entry just in this case if you look at the trial balance the balances are all zero so therefore there is no need to do the opening entry so here you can print the chart of accounts and match it with the accounts that you are given at the bottom once you finish creating the accounts you can create a new fiscal year to make it to 2020 and once you finish creating a new fiscal year you can activate the bank module and the tax module now this is something you have not done if you have not completed chapter 9 now you guys can look at my video or you can look at your test book to complete this part but I was a little bit more explanatory here to explain to you guys what you need to do so you need to create a you can activate the bank module and tax module first then when you come to a bank module what you need to do is you're gonna create a bank okay so you will have a bank account but you need to link that bank to a particular bank account so here you're gonna go here and create that bank and that's TD checking transit number you need to put the check number deposit number all that information you do that right here using all this information that's given to you okay so you need to complete all you need to enter all this information in that particular bank account that you're creating if you have two bank accounts you need to do that twice for the second account but in this example we only have one bank account so we do it only once then you need to set up the bank options uh, most likely there's nothing nothing much for you guys to do but you can go through it and see what I need you to do I need to create a distribution code in the bank module because you can record some transaction in the bank module as well what we're going to do is we're actually going to record a loan that you receive from the bank in the bank module so we're going to create a one distribution code here and we name that distribution code as a bank loan and then we're going to set up the bank account as a control account because once we had the bank module we don't want anybody to post any transaction in the bank module so what we're going to do is we're going to go to a general ledger and make that bank account as a control account and link that to the bank sub ledger and once we finish that then we're going to record the receipt of the bank in a bank module you can look at my video how i will record the bank payment in the bank module so if that if you don't want to do that uh, wait till my video you can look at the your test book see how you will record the transaction in the bank module so with that your bank module is ready then you go into the into a sales tax and set up the tax codes as well so the way you do the tax code is you have to do it into a tax uh, different parts first you set up the tax authority so in this case we're going to set up the tax authority at hsd and put all this information that's listed here make the tax authority no reporting leave the tax as a minimum zero base tax a global tax it's all the invoice basis and then you go into the account tab you link the tax liability account to hst on sales and tax it recoverable to the hst on purchases then you go to the tax classes then you have to create the tax classes as taxable and non-taxable because in the food industry you either pay tax or you don't pay tax there are some items such as produce they are zero tax so it's, it's non-taxable then there's taxable which is like buying food bread or any food that's prepared and it's ready to serve they are taxable and you have to create that for sales and purchases then you're gonna create the tax rate and we're gonna make 13 percent for taxable and zero percent for the non-taxable then we're gonna create a tax group so now the tax groups are mostly for big companies if the company has a business in Ontario, BC, and all the different provinces, 
then you would create different tax groups. So in our case, we're only dealing with Ontario, so we're only gonna create one tax code for Ontario. Now, once that part is done, technically you're ready to roll into the accounts payable. So you set up, set up the bank account, you set up the bank module, you set up your taxes. Then you start everything that you have done in part B, which is the accounts payable. So in that, what you need to do is you're gonna activate the accounts payable module. Then you're going to go into AP option. You guys have done this already, so I don't have to explain you guys. You will do all the settings that are given to you guys right here. I want you guys to create two different account sets, a TCAN and DCAN. TCAN is for takeout vendors, DCAN is for the dining vendors. And you will link all these accounts to the appropriate accounts for the different account sets. You guys will create two different distribution set uh, codes. One for the cost of sales for the 100 de oh, 001 department and the cost of sales for 002 department. Then you guys will be required to create two different terms at 30 and 210 at 30. Then you guys will create two different vendor groups, a vendor group for TCAN and DCAN. And once you finish creating the two different vendor groups, I want you guys to create two different suppliers. One is a Gordon Food Services, another one is a Costco Business Center. Once you set up the vendor groups and vendors, you're gonna create, you're gonna change the session date to January 31st. Once you change this date to January 31st, you will be recording these three transactions. Okay, and I'm not gonna go through it. You guys will read it and record them. Then you have signed an engagement letter with the security company to provide an alarming system, security alarm system. You will be recording a recurring uh, transaction you will record a recurring payment so you will record that under your accounts payable and you will run it from January to December 2020 fixed amount but I want that amount to be split 30% into one department 70% to the other department then you guys have these payments that happen in the month of January so you recorded these payments so you need to identify what those payments are and record them Perform the month and batches. So once you finish recording the payments, you're gonna run the recurring batch because we'll have this batch, this transaction run when you run the recurring batch. Once you finish creating a re re uh, recurring batches and you post them, then you are ready to pull, close the accounts payable. So when you're ready to close the accounts payable, what I want you guys to print is, I want you guys to print all the posting journals for all the batches that you have created and post it. And then at the end, I want you guys to print the aged accounts payable. Once you finish this part, this is something that I want you guys to do. Uh, you have not done in the test book because the test book is uh, gonna ask you guys to do it very end once we finish the account receivable. But I want you guys to do it right here. What we're going to do is, we're gonna go into a bank account in the ledger and link them to a sub ledger A, P, and B, K. And then we, I'm going to ask you guys to go to accounts payable account in the general ledger, make that account a control account, and select the sub ledger as an accounts payable. And once you finish, uh, you can go to a general ledger and post all the batches that came from BK and accounts payable. Remember in the last lecture, I told you guys that uh, once you finish uh, posting the transaction, uh, everything that's done in the AP or BK module it will be a mirror picture in the general ledger. So you'll see all the batches that you have done in the bank module and AP module came into the general ledger. You need to post them right here. Once you post them, your trial balance is up to date. You can print out the trial balance as of January 31st. And this balance that you have in accounts payable will match with the balance in the aging report that you printed right here, okay? So this is this. This will be a good practice, but uh, you're not required to practice this for your test because your test that you're doing next week is mostly focused on the uh, on the conceptual side, not the practical side. But this will give you a good understanding that you have done well, and you understand everything from beginning to the end, all the way for, from uh, from general ledger to the accounts paper. Okay. So if you feel that you, this information is sufficient enough for you guys to complete this exercise, please go ahead and, and do it. If you feel that you need to listen to the video, 
you can wait till the videos I'm gonna do that into different parts so I'll do general ledger first then I'll do bank and taxes then I'll do the accounts payable module okay now if you guys are doing it from home uh, using your Sage 300 do a database uh, dump every time you do complete a part of the exercise but if you are doing it on a humble online platform you don't have a luxury to uh, to do a backup you have to do everything from beginning to the end uh, at the same time when you are completing it so this is the end of the part one of the home practice exercise one and then i'll be back with part two soon thank you everybody and enjoy your rest of your week